Do you love mac and cheese so much that you wish it was the whole meal? Me too, and I found a way to do it. Come on, let me show you. I call it green chili chili mac because you start with a chili with an E, which is the vegetable, and then you add the chili with an I, which is the meat dish. Then you add macaroni and it all comes together. First, start with fresh green chilies. Char the skin of the chilies over a flame, either on your gas stove or a grill. Then cover it with foil and let them steam. Once they've cooled, peel the skin off, seed and dice them, and you're ready to go. For more information on chili roasting, watch my video on roasting hatch green chilies. Measure out two cups of chilies, and then we'll get started with the meat. Break up the ground beef in a tall sided skillet. Turn the heat on medium and add some salt and pepper. As it's browning, add the garlic powder and the chili powder. This is just regular chili powder from the grocery store. We're basically making what I call taco meat. After it's through browning, taste it for seasoning. You might need a little more salt. If you use ground chuck like I have, you'll need to drain it before you move on. Just tilt the pan and then scoot all the meat to the top. Let the oil drain and skim it off with a spoon. You can also just put it into a strainer. Either way, just set it aside and we'll start the sauce. Melt the butter over low heat until it's bubbly. We don't want this butter to brown though. Add the flour and cayenne and whisk it until it makes a paste. Only cook it for about a minute. We don't want it to get too brown. We're basically making a roux. A roux is just fat and flour mixed together. It's used to thicken stuff like sauces and gumbos. Very slowly add the milk. The milk should be room temperature or warmed in a pan. Cold milk will cause it to clump. Now keep whisking and adding a little bit of milk at a time. In a minute, it'll become real smooth and you can add the rest of the milk. Roux are used for a lot of different sauces, but today we're making a bechamel. In case you don't know, a bechamel is a French white sauce. Yes, I said French, but don't worry, it's real easy. Just butter, flour, and milk, that's it. Turn the heat up to medium and continue to cook, stirring often. So keep whisking until it simmers and starts to thicken. Now you should know that flour doesn't start to thicken a sauce until it's at a boiling temperature. There, like that. It shouldn't be too thick, but it should coat the back of a spoon. Now turn off the heat and add the chilies and the tomatoes. Make sure the tomatoes are drained. You don't want that extra juice. Mix that up and then stir in the cheese. The Monterey Jack gives it creaminess and the cheddar gives it flavor. The residual heat in the sauce will melt the cheese nicely. You know what? That looks pretty good, but I want some more green chili. Add another cup if you want. There, now that looks great. Next, add the taco meat, stir it in, and let it warm through. Add in the cooked macaroni and you're pretty much done. Now that's what I call a whole meal in a bowl. See you next time on Kimberly in the Kitchen.